Hey guys, it's Brandon here, and we're back with another video today. And this video is going to be the making of my gallows for my pneumatic hangman. I'm gonna go see. Sorry for the mess, but we're actually like donating a lot of things to Goodwill because we had a lot of trash. Yeah, so... Here's the wood. We're using all 2x4s. Um, um, for the center post, um, we're screwing two 2x4s two to make a 4x4. Four four. Some of them... Some of them have big knots in them. Yeah. I've never seen them this rough before. Two by fours? So for the main beam, I'll put I'll screw two of these together. Yeah, that's what I was saying. What's that? I, I'm making a video on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Well, we'll show them the pile of wood, then we'll show them the finished product. Yeah. I got some stain too. So really uh, the same stain for the um, guillotine? It's probably darker than that. The stain for the guillotine was stained for the deck. You know, the, around the around the wood and the poles, that was the same exact stuff. This is a little darker. So Chucky made a YouTube channel too. Did he? Yeah. Jemmy Mania, go subscribe, dude. Mm -hmm. right, look, I got this too. This will screw to the two by four. It'll ha the loop will hang down. You know what I mean? And then... Oh, for the rope. For yeah, for for the for the cable that holds the guy up. Oh yeah, true. And then this, this will come from the man to the to the cable, and then this will come from that. And then, oh. then you, you're gonna have the rope just kind of you said loop around everything, right? So like, this is gonna hang down. And yeah, then the two by four that hangs over, that gets screwed to the bottom. So you're gonna have a carabiner to the um. To this. Yeah, so you just hoist up the hangman, hook them. Right, the rope you said won't really be holding. Yeah, the rope can probably just be hanging down, mm -hmm. and you can probably just. Attach it, like put it inside of the shirt, I guess, and then just have the noose. Right, and then you right. piece of rope around. Now, I don't know if we have a smaller piece of rope to hold the weight of the guy up. Because what you do, you put the rope, you make a loop, and you come back through and you hammer these over, and that keeps the loop. And then you put the carabiner on the loop, and then hang it onto that thing. So, what you want, what, what's holding the hangman up? What, what are you attaching to the carabiner? Whatever, whatever cable or rope we find to hold the guy out. Okay. Because that, that, that like I was saying, I have in there a cable, but it's probably only like three feet or four feet. What do you have connectors and stuff for? It just has loops. It at, does, right? At each side, yeah. Oh. So we could probably use something like right, that. We'll see. We'll see what we have. I have you a don't want them hanging off too far. No. No, no, right. That's why I figured a little piece of rope. But if you, um, it has a lock on it, but I didn't, I don't know, have the key, so you might have to like, um, Cut the lock. Alright, so that's that. Uh, I got more screws, two and a half inch screws. Um, stainless steel screws, maybe I'll use them for that. Do you want to plug in the tools? Like I said, apologize for the mess. Oh, yeah, here's a, the butcher shop. Sorry if you walk through that, but. So, yeah, um. Ooh. Yeah, like, sorry for the mess, because um, we got literally all the trash out of our house, put it into our basement, which is right here, and a lot of it's here. I mean, our house isn't usually this messy, but... Um, yeah, so... We're just donating a lot of crap to Goodwill. The house looks so junky. Yeah, there's Homer. Yeah, like, these are bags of, like... Clothes and stuff, and then the games. I don't know why I'm even doing this, but yeah. So yeah, and then we're gonna make the huge grabbing hand that comes out of like a window or something like that. So, yeah, see you guys.
extension cord. Here you go. Bang, bang, bang. Cool. Plug it in, sorry. We forgot to plug it in. Save these for our next problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the post is done. Yay. Now we're just going to figure out how... I'm probably not going to film too much. I, More. I think I'm going to keep it this way. You like it that way? I mean, it's, it, I don't think it's going to be any less strong. we got to figure out... Now the piece that comes off the top, is it going to be flush? Or, or do you want to hang it over? Oh, oh, like... Do I um, stop here? Come out this way with a brace. I think, like, can we see how it looks, and then decide? Okay. Like, right, like, so just hold it up. How far it's gonna stick out? The guy's not very thick, so I would go maybe two feet. I'll just cut one in half and see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't kick too far. Now, I don't know. I have to decide once we put the carabiner on, which way he's gonna rest. You know what I mean? We have to adjust that plate. I'll put one screw in it and see how it rests. And then we'll spin the plate because that that ring doesn't move. Yes, yeah, so you don't want him like facing. I'm thinking backwards. you might have to think you might have to put strings back to tether him to keep it from, keep it when he's at rest. So or just can... like off to the side, just connecting to the side off him, so just so you can't turn all the way around. Yeah, we'll see how. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. So I have one for the top, two, three.